Damon never thought he'd marry an alien, let alone find himself preparing for an intergalactic baby. It all started when he was chosen to represent Earth on a diplomatic mission to a distant planet called Xyla. He never expected to fall in love with Elena, a stunning alien with shimmering blue skin, violet eyes, and an adventurous spirit. She wasn't like anyone he'd ever met on Earth, and her curiosity and charm captured his heart instantly. After months of whirlwind romance, they got married in a breathtaking Xylan ceremony beneath glowing crystal skies. Damon knew their love was unique crossing galaxies, cultures, and even species, but nothing could prepare him for what came next. One morning, as Damon was attempting to cook breakfast, or at least figuring out how to handle Xylan space vegetables, Elena floated into the room literally. Damon, she said, her eyes sparkling with excitement and nervousness. We need to talk, he put down the strange purple vegetable and gave her his full attention. What's up, love? Elena hesitated for a moment before gently placing her hand over her stomach. I'm pregnant, Damon blinked. Pregnant, his mind raced. How did that even work between a human and an alien? They hadn't even discussed the possibility of children yet. Wait, really? That's incredible, Elena nodded, her smile a mix of thrill and a bit of worry. It's not exactly common, but it happens. Our baby will be a mix of our worlds. It's a special thing, Damon. Damon's heart raced with a mix of excitement and panic. A baby? I mean, we're going to have a half-alien, half-human kid, Elena chuckled softly, wrapping her arms around him. Yes, and it's going to be amazing. She looked up at him, her eyes twinkling with love. But there's a little catch-catch, Damon raised an eyebrow. The pregnancy is. Accelerated. On Sila, our babies grow much faster. We've got about three months before the babies here, Damon's jaw dropped. Three months he was used to Earth's nine-month rule, but Cylon biology had its own ideas. Well, I guess we'd better start preparing the next few weeks were a blur of hilarious and chaotic moments. Damon tried to help as much as he could, but he was out of his depth. Alina's cravings were out of this world, literally. She had him running all over the place looking for foods that didn't exist on Earth, like floating berries or fizzy seaweed. One day, Damon found himself building an alien-style nursery, complete with gravity-defying cribs and glowing stardust mobiles. He also had to get used to the fact that Elena could hover in the air while pregnant a feature he both admired and found slightly terrifying. As her belly grew, so did their excitement. But the differences in their cultures made things comically difficult. For example, Elena insisted that Cylan tradition called for the father to dance in a circle around the house for good luck. Damon wasn't much of a dancer, but he gave it his all, hoping their baby wouldn't inherit his two left feet. Despite the challenges, Damon couldn't help but marvel at the life they were building together. He'd never imagined his future would look like this a home on an alien planet, with a baby on the way who would be part of two worlds. But with Elena by his side, everything felt right. As the day of the birth approached, Damon found himself more nervous than he'd ever been. Elena, on the other hand, was calm and radiant. It's going to be beautiful, Damon, she reassured him, her hand on her glowing belly. We're going to have the most amazing little one. And she was right. When the time came, the birth was unlike anything Damon had ever seen, an explosion of light and energy as their baby entered the world, with a blend of human and Xylan features that made their hearts swell with love. Holding their child, Damon knew one thing for sure he wouldn't trade this wild, crazy, intergalactic adventure for anything. Damon stared at their newborn baby, a tiny mix of both their worlds. The baby had Elena's shimmering violet eyes but Damon's human smile. It was perfect a little miracle he never saw coming. Just as Damon was starting to feel settled, Elena looked at him with a nervous smile. Damon, there's something else I need to tell you Damon's heart skipped a beat. What now? Don't tell me our baby's going to grow wings or something. Elena laughed softly but shook her head. No, nothing like that. But. There's a tradition on Sila that we haven't followed yet, and it's pretty important Damon raised an eyebrow. What kind of tradition? Elena bit her lip, clearly hesitant. In my culture, when a child is born we're required to. Introduce them to the Council of Elders. They decide if the baby is worthy to be raised on Zyla Damon's stomach dropped. Worthy? What does that even mean? Our baby is perfect, I know Elena said quickly. But the council doesn't always see things the same way. 
especially when it comes to hybrids' babies like ours. Damon's mind raced. Are you saying there's a chance they might not accept our child? Elena nodded slowly. If they don't, we might have to leave Sila. Damon couldn't believe it. After everything they'd been through their whirlwind romance, the wedding, the pregnancy now they were at risk of losing their home because of some alien council. We'll fight them, Damon said, determination in his voice. I'm not letting anyone tell us where we can or can't raise our child, Elena smiled sadly. It's not that simple. The Council has powerful allies. If they decide against us, it could be dangerous, Damon clenched his fists. Dangerous how Elena hesitated before whispering. They might try to take our baby from US, Damon's heart raced. No way. No one is taking our child. Elena nodded, but her eyes were filled with worry. I'll do everything I can to protect us. But Damon, you need to be ready. We're not just fighting for ourselves anymore. We're fighting for our family. The next few days were tense. Damon and Elena prepared to face the council, but the pressure weighed heavily on them. Damon could sense Elena's fear, though she tried to hide it. He knew this wasn't just a formality, this was a fight for their future. On the day of the council hearing, Damon held Elena's hand tightly as they stood before the elders. The Grand Chamber was intimidating, filled with towering alien figures with cold, calculating eyes. The head elder, an ancient being with glowing blue skin, spoke in a deep voice. Elena of Xyla, you have brought forth a hybrid child. This goes against our traditions, Elena stepped forward, her voice steady. My child is a blend of two worlds of love and unity. Isn't that what we've always strived for? Peace between planets. The elder narrowed his eyes. Peace, yes. But hybrids disrupt the balance. They carry traits that may be. Unpredictable, Damon's anger flared. Unpredictable? She's a baby. A baby and no one has the right to decide her fate except us. The room went silent, the elders glaring at Damon. One of them spoke up, the human speaks out of turn. He does not understand our ways, but Damon wasn't backing down. I don't care about your ways. All I care about is my family. If you want to reject us, fine. But we're leaving, and we're taking our baby with us for a moment. It seemed like the elders would strike them down right there. But then, something incredible happened. Dot the baby, still cradled in Elena's arms, began to glow. A soft, gentle light that filled the entire chamber. The elders gasped in awe as the light grew brighter, and suddenly the baby let out a small, happy giggle. Damon and Elena stared in shock as their child's glow seemed to change the atmosphere in the room. The cold, hostile tension melted away, replaced by warmth and peace. The head elder stepped back, his eyes wide with surprise. This, this child possesses the light of unity, Elena blinked, the what the light of unity the Elder repeated, a rare gift. It only appears in beings destined to unite different worlds. Damon looked at Elena, and they shared a stunned expression. Their baby wasn't just any hybrid, she was special, destined for something far greater than they had ever imagined. The Elders, clearly shaken, quickly changed their tone. This child is worthy, the head Elder announced. You may raise her on Sila relief, flooded through Damon and Alina. They had won. But more than that, they realized their daughter was going to have a future that would change the fate of not just one planet, but many. As they left the council chamber, Damon wrapped his arm around Elena and their glowing baby. Guess we've got a lot to look forward to, huh? Elena smiled, leaning into him. Yeah, and we'll face it together, but just as they thought the danger was over, a shadowy figure watched them from the distance, a mysterious enemy who wasn't ready to let Damon and Elena live their happy ending just yet. As Damon and Elena walked out of the council chamber, a chill ran down Elena's spine. She glanced over her shoulder, feeling like someone was watching them. Damon noticed her unease. What's wrong? he asked. I don't know, she whispered. I just feel. Like we're not alone before Damon could say anything. A dark figure emerged from the shadows at all menacing alien with glowing red eyes and sharp, metallic armor. Damon instinctively stepped in front of Elena and their baby. Who are you? he demanded. The figure's voice was cold. I am Zorak, and I've been waiting for this moment. You think the Council's decision means you've won, but you're wrong, Elena's heart pounded. What do you want? Zorak sneered. Your child. She carries the light of unity, a power that can reshape the universe. But in the wrong hands, my hands, it can bring destruction. Damon's blood boiled. 
You're not touching her, Zorak raised his hand, and a wave of energy sent Damon flying across the room. He hit the wall hard and groaned in pain. Elena screamed, clutching the baby tightly. Zorak stepped closer, his eyes locked on the glowing child. You have no idea how valuable she is, she's the key to controlling the balance between worlds, and once I have her, nothing will stand in my way. Alina's mind raced. She had to protect their baby no matter what. But Zorak was too powerful. Just as she thought all hope was lost, Damon, bruised but determined, got back on his feet. You want to fight? Damon growled, eyes blazing with fury. You got it. But Zorak was ready, his energy pulsing stronger. Just as he was about to unleash a deadly blast, Elena's baby began to glow even brighter. The light expanded, enveloping Elena, Damon, and the entire room in a protective shield. Zorak howled in rage. No, this can't be happening, the light from the baby intensified, pushing Zorak back. Damon and Elena could feel the power of their child, stronger than anything they'd ever imagined. The energy surged, and with a final blinding flash, Zorak was vaporized, reduced to nothing. Silence fell as the light dimmed, and Damon and Elena stood in shock. Their baby had just saved them, no, saved the universe. Damon walked over to Elena, wrapping his arms around her and their child. That was. Incredible Elena, still trembling, nodded. She's stronger than we realized. But as the adrenaline faded, Damon's eyes darkened with realization. If Zorak wanted her, others will too. We're not safe yet. Not by a long shot, Elena looked into his eyes. What do we do now? Damon took a deep breath, his protective instincts kicking in. We keep her hidden. We stay under the radar. But we'll have to be ready for anyone who comes after her, Elena nodded, determination replacing her fear. Together, we can protect her, and as they left the council chamber, they knew their fight was far from over. The universe had just started to take notice of their extraordinary child, and enemies from far and wide would soon come for them. But Damon and Elena were prepared to face whatever came next for the sake of their baby, for their future. They were ready to take on the universe together, no matter what dark forces tried to stand in their way. As Damon and Elena continued to live in hiding, trying to protect their child from the universe's dark forces, things started to change in unexpected ways. They had settled into a quiet life on the outskirts of a remote alien planet, far from any threats or so they thought. One evening, Elena noticed something strange. Their baby, who had always glowed with a gentle light, started flickering erratically. It was as if her powers were getting out of control. Damon, sensing the same thing, grew worried. Something's wrong. We need to figure this out before it gets worse, he said. The next day, they sought help from an old alien sage known for his wisdom about the powers that governed the universe. The sage, with his deep, otherworldly voice, warned them, your child's powers are growing too quickly. She is the key to balance, but if she loses control, it could tear the fabric of reality itself. Elena's heart sank. What do we do? The sage hesitated before revealing a shocking truth. There is a prophecy. The child born of a human and an alien who holds the light of unity can either save or destroy everything. But there's more the child's power will consume one of you. If her energy grows unchecked, one parent will have to sacrifice themselves to contain it. Damon and Elena exchanged horrified glances. Could it be true? Would one of them have to die to save their daughter? For days the couple wrestled with this dark revelation, keeping it from each other but knowing what it meant. Damon, always the protector, made up his mind to keep Elena and their baby safe at any cost even if it meant sacrificing himself. But Elena, sensing Damon's resolve, secretly planned to do the same for him. Neither could bear the thought of losing the other. But just as they were struggling with this dilemma, the universe threw another curveball. One night, a ship landed nearby, its sleek metal frame gleaming under the alien moonlight. Damon and Elena thought they had been found by their enemies. But when the hatch opened, a young woman stepped out, a human woman. I'm Dana, she said. I've been looking for you. Damon and Elena were taken aback. How had a human found them on this distant planet? Dana explained that she was part of a secret group on Earth that had known about their child's powers all along. There's a way to save her, she said, her eyes fixed on Damon. But it's dangerous, and it involves going back to Earth. Damon frowned. Back to Earth? We left for a reason. But Dana insisted. 
Your child's powers are linked to something ancient on Earth, something buried deep beneath the surface. If you can find it, it can stabilize her powers without anyone having to die. Elena was skeptical. How do we know we can trust you? Dana's eyes darkened. You don't. But if you don't take this chance, your daughter might lose control, and then it's over for everyone. Torn between their desire to protect their daughter and the risk of returning to Earth, Damon and Elena reluctantly agreed to follow Dana. When they arrived on Earth, they were led to a hidden temple, buried beneath layers of forgotten history. The temple was protected by ancient alien technology, long abandoned but still active. As they ventured deeper into the temple, they realized they weren't alone. Shadows moved in the dark, and soon they were face to face with a group of alien hunters who had been tracking them all along. A fierce battle broke out. Damon fought valiantly, using his strength to protect Elena and their baby, while Elena used her quick thinking to disarm the traps within the temple. Just when it seemed they would be overwhelmed, Dana revealed a shocking twist she wasn't just there to help. She had been sent to capture their child for her own purposes. I'm sorry, Dana said, her voice cold. But your daughter is too powerful. She belongs to us now, Elena's heart dropped. She had trusted Dana, and now she realized it had all been a setup. Just as Dana lunged for the child, Damon stepped in the way, taking the hit. Elena screamed as he fell to the ground, injured but still alive. With a surge of desperate strength, Elena tapped into her daughter's powers, unleashing a wave of energy that knocked Dana and the alien hunters back. The temple shook, and ancient symbols glowed brightly around them. In that moment, Elena realized their daughter's power wasn't just dangerous, it was connected to something far greater. As the temple crumbled, they narrowly escaped, but Dana's betrayal had left them shaken. Back on their ship, Damon winced in pain but smiled weakly at Elena. Guess I'm not as invincible as I thought Elena. Tears in her eyes kissed him softly. You'll always be invincible to me. But the real twist came when they discovered what Dana had been after. Hidden deep within the temple had been a device capable of controlling their daughter's power. Without it, the future of their child and possibly the universe was left hanging in uncertainty. As they sped away from Earth, one thing was clear enemies lurked everywhere and their daughter's destiny was far from settled. The danger was growing, and Damon and Elena would have to fight even harder to keep her and each other safe from whatever came next. As Damon and Elena flew away from Earth, the silence between them felt heavy. The weight of everything that had just happened hung in the air. Elena sat by Damon's side, glancing down at their daughter, whose soft glow flickered faintly. What do we do now, Elena asked, her voice barely above a whisper. Damon winced as he adjusted himself, still in pain from the battle. We can't keep running forever, there's more out there, more people like Dana, and now they know about our daughter. Elena looked out the ship's window at the vast, dark space. But what was that thing in the temple? Why did she want it so badly, I don't know, Damon replied, his brow furrowed. But whatever it was, it has something to do with her powers. We need answers. Just then, the ship's dashboard flickered, and a strange signal appeared on the screen. A series of alien symbols flashed across it too fast for either of them to understand. What is that? Elena asked, leaning in closer. Damon's fingers flew across the control panel. I don't know, but it's coming from deep space, and it's strong the signal grew louder, the symbols glowing brighter. Then, all of a sudden, a voice echoed through the ship's speakers. It wasn't a voice they recognized. It sounded robotic, yet haunting, like something not entirely alive. Your daughter holds the key to the universe, the voice said. Bring her to us, or you will all perish. Elena's heart raced. Who are you? The voice didn't answer her question. Instead, it continued, you have one solar cycle to comply. If not, your destruction will be swift, the signal cut off, leaving them in stunned silence. Damon stared at the blank screen, his jaw clenched. Looks like someone else is after her too. Elena's mind was spinning. They were already running from one enemy, and now there was another, even more mysterious and powerful one. We can't just hand her over, Elena said. We don't know what they'll do to her. Damon stood up, wincing from his injuries but determined. No, we won't, but we need to find out who they are and fast, just as they were about to set a course to track the signal, something even more shocking happened. Their daughter, who had been sleeping peacefully, suddenly opened her eyes. But this time, 
instead of her usual soft glow, her entire body radiated a blinding white light. Damon. Look, Elena gasped, backing away from the cradle. Their daughter floated upward, suspended in the air, her tiny body emitting a force that shook the entire ship. Damon rushed forward but stopped, not knowing how to reach her. What's happening to her? Elena cried. The voice from the signal echoed in the ship again, this time more sinister. The power within her is awakening. You cannot stop what's coming suddenly. The light from their daughter shot out in all directions, creating cracks in the ship's walls. It was as if reality itself was breaking apart around them. Damon grabbed Elena's hand, pulling her close as the ship trembled violently hold on Damon shouted, struggling to stay on his feet. But just when it seemed like everything would collapse, the light faded. Their daughter gently floated back into the cradle, her glow returning to normal. The ship's systems stabilized, and the shaking stopped. Elena rushed to her side, her heart pounding. Is she? Is she okay? Damon inspected the ship's controls. For now. But whatever that was, it's only the beginning as they caught their breath. Damon's face hardened with resolve. We need to find out who sent that signal. And we need to stop them before it's too late, but Elena's thoughts were elsewhere. Something about the light, the voice, the prophecy, it all felt connected. There was something bigger at play, something they weren't seeing yet. Damon set a new course deeper into the galaxy, toward a mysterious planet where they hoped to find answers. But what they didn't know was that the real danger wasn't just the mysterious voice or the powers their daughter held. The biggest twist of all was waiting for them on that planet a revelation that would change everything they thought they knew. It wasn't just their daughter who was special. Damon and Elena had been part of something far greater from the beginning, something that tied them to the fate of the entire universe, and as they sped toward the unknown, the question loomed larger than ever, would they be able to save their daughter? Or would the universe tear them apart first? Years later, Damon and Elena stood on the balcony of their new home, looking out at the vibrant landscape of the alien planet they now called home. Their daughter, now a young girl, played in the garden, her glow brighter than ever. Time had changed them. They had faced countless challenges, learned from their past, and built a life together. The universe was vast and mysterious, but they had carved out a little piece of it for themselves. As the sun set, casting a golden hue over everything, Damon turned to Elena, a smile on his face. Can you believe how far we've come? Elena nodded, her heart full. It hasn't always been easy, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. Our daughter is amazing. Just then, their daughter ran over, her hair sparkling in the light. Look, Mum. Look, Dad, she held out her hands and tiny lights floated around her, dancing in the air. Damon and Elena exchanged proud glances. They had raised her to be strong and kind, to embrace her powers and understand the responsibility that came with them. But as they watched their daughter, a familiar voice echoed in their minds a reminder of the threats they had faced. They had fought hard to keep their family safe, and they would continue to do so. Whatever comes next, we'll face it together, Damon said, wrapping his arms around Elena and their daughter. As the three of them stood together, united by love and strength, they knew they were ready for whatever challenges the universe had in store. They had created their own destiny, and nothing could tear them apart. In that moment, surrounded by the beauty of their new home, they were not just a family they were a force to be reckoned with, and together they would shine brighter than any star in the galaxy.